Ghost Rex. Did I say that right? Uh, you want to explain uh, your your implants and uh, their meaning to you and uh, and. Uh, well, implants are, are not really anything different than uh, any other type of body modification. A little more radical, perhaps, because they involve surgery as opposed to like just the uh, transition of ink into the body or you know or piercings. Um, I had them done specifically because they represent a, a physical manifestation of a very carefully uh, uh, constructed internal psychic landscape, uh, meaning that they uh, they mirror. Uh, an internal aspect of magical development in the outside world and uh, they serve as a uh, as both a uh, symbol and a warning uh, to those about uh, my uh, conviction to uh, black magic and to the practice of uh, uh, sorcery in the left hand path so does uh, the trident represent uh, the third eye at all in this spot or is it uh, the trident is the weapon of Shiva. It's the destructive uh, aspect which uh, clears the way of like all negative influences for the uh, the settlement of of, uh, of a new order. So it was his. Uh, it was actually his weapon. Uh, it was carried in all of his different manifestations, including uh, uh, him uh, as uh, the uh, the lion-headed. Uh, destructive uh, element is like fourth incarnation so it's all found through all Brahminic and, and Hindu mythology it's also found in uh, Tibetan mythology it was one of the weapons of uh, Alavadesh uh, Karatra or um, the, the being known as Mahakala uh, who carried it as one of his destructive elements and again this destruction is about negative uh, the destruction of negative elements that's going to be completely open to uh, interpretation based on, uh, <laughs> I guess, where you are on the receiving end. So. Okay. Uh, what about um, the horns just straight going, like, uh, is this uh, Baphomet related? or what, what There's a very famous do? sculpture uh, by Michelangelo of Moses uh, with the Ten Commandments, the tablets of the Ten Commandments, and he actually has horns. And the reason he has those is because they represent uh, temporal power in the physical world. Uh, and uh, all uh, animal uh, of, of any type of physical power within the uh, bestial mammalian had horns of one type or another. They generally weren't um, uh, predatory animals, but they were uh, they were uh, elements uh, that uh, were certainly uh, above their fellows. And so it's, it has to do with uh, that same principle. Satan was seen as having horns because he was supposedly a fallen angel, but there was a demonstrative principle between the forces of darkness and light, yin and yang, hard and soft, uh, domination, servitude, master and slave. So that's why he supposedly had the horns, which none of the angelic creatures actually had. So it was something that I adopted as part of a satanic uh, ritual practice. Do you care if we got a view of your uh, back yeah, one? Yeah. Yeah, so then you got... That's the mark of the beast right there. So you got the X and the O. I'm going to give you this. The X and the O. Yep, um, X If and you could actually see this uh, in its completed form, because it's still uh, actually uh, shrinking a little bit, uh, you have to... Uh, yeah, let's all add up. Let's go, guys. Uh, Come on. Uh, the wolf cross, yeah. surrounded by the four runes of fate. Oh, has to do with the apocalypse and the destruction of uh, Let's the go, I'm miss my bus. Thank you, sir. Uh, <laughs> well, hey, thanks, Rex, for the info, and uh, well, it's always an adventure, you well, know? Sure. <laughs> it's always an adventure. All right. I got everything.